Uh, so Greg and I both got codes for the longing, but uh, this was an intriguing one for for me, and I think it was you know Greg. I think you felt the same. Uh, and the story of the longing, for those that don't know, is you are a shade. The, your your king has tasked you with waiting 400 days to wake him up, and you are in your cave, and you have legit 400 real time days, and you can do whatever you want. You could explore. You can do nothing. You can literally turn on the game, then turn it off, wait 400 real life days, turn it back on, and uh, you beat the game. <laughs> or you can explore the caves and see what kind of secrets are there. And uh, Greg, how have you done? How are you? Are you done? Or are you still exploring? What have you done in these 400 days? Well, I haven't hit the end of the 400 days, but um, I haven't really done like the top part of the thing where you go through the one door. So like that was like my first, I would say like a hard stop spot was like, oh, there's a door and it takes two hours to open. So then curiously, I was just like, I wonder if this game handles time travel. So like I fast forward the switch two hours, boom, it like was done. So I was like, well, I guess we'll see what else is coming before I dedicate more to that. So, um, I haven't had resort to that at all, but then I never wound up going to see what's beyond the door. So and I think it's a few rooms north of the room that's on video screen right now. So um, I haven't really explored that way, but I have gone with both sides, like all the way to both ends. So like one way leads to the library and I was able to get inside there after waiting a month's time for that little ravine to fill up with water that's on screen right now. So I did, um, you know, to explore that and got a number of books. There's also a, a, another route where you can like fall down onto some moss and there's like a big crystal cavern on the other side that I went and even spent a day uh, mining out one of the crystals just to kind of say that, like, hey, I did it. And so I got that, it took me a little while to find the Madoc item. That was one of the last items that I actually got and took a number of uh, days before I actually found it. Um, overall, I think the game is pretty interesting, at least like the way from the story perspective, but I think it's a little slow paced, at least for me. Um, the walking speed seems like horrendously slow, but it definitely reminds me of some of the mobile gotcha games where it's like, oh, you can do this job for whatever, eight hours, and then you get whatever 15 in-game currency and whatever like that so this game definitely reminded me of that because it was just like oh you have to wait two weeks for this to fill up with water or moss to grow down there or whatever the different situation is so it definitely had that feel to it and i felt like the shade moved very slow in comparison to like the time that you spend on these other events so i think that's kind of what pushed me back from trying to explore too far because then um, even though there is a fast mode to go back to your um, room and sit in your chair, but then even then it feels like you take like five minutes just to like walk all the way back down because it was really long stairwells past like the king's statue where he's sleeping. And it just feels like it takes like way too long just to really get anywhere. So that was one of the biggest drawbacks for me. Um, did you have anything... <clears throat> Did you want to cover before I jump into some other stuff that I've done? Uh, yeah, so uh, I, <clears throat> I like you, I actually have beaten this game. Um, I have, there, there's multiple endings to this game, first off. Um, there's range from, you know, terrible endings, like a suicide. Um, and there's, there's a bunch of other ones until the 400 days. Uh, so I beat the 400 day version. And I didn't time travel. So you're like, how did you do it? It hasn't been 400 days. Well, there's a way to do it. Um, so you have a house, you have a, your room. And in your room, the more you decorate it, the faster time moves in your room. <clears throat> so if you find paper and you find some chalk, different colored chalk, you can draw pictures. The more pictures you have, the faster time will start moving. If you build a bed, you know, and you get the manic and you expand your room, the faster. You, the, you know, if you get crystals, you, you higher harvest the crystals. The more crystals you have, the faster time moves. So after a certain period of time, I think it was like 20 seconds or 25 seconds per real life second in my, you know, in my room. So I just left myself there to finish. Um, I think the concept is fantastic. 
I think when you're first venturing out, it's this world is so big. It's like, oh my God, I'm going to get lost. Um, it does have a fast travel where you can pretty much snapshot where you are and you can always tell yourself to go back there. But by fast travel, it means your shade is going to walk there and your shade does not walk fast as Greg alluded to because you have 400 days. What's the rush? Um, so there are a bunch of things to do to start triggering um, such as a stalagmite falling, which takes like a week and the, the water filling up, which takes a month and the door, which is two, two uh, hours and a bunch of stuff like that. Um, you have to really explore and, and see what kind of puzzles you want to do. Like there's a spider web that takes a while. There's mushrooms you have to grow. And there's a lot to truly see. Uh, and there's hidden stuff too. So there's a hidden door that appears like every midnight. Um, and it's one of those things where you, uh, you have to get to the door. But if you just find the door, you can't get in unless you have a key. And in order to get the key, you got to find the secret tower, which is like all the way in the top of the map. And then you have to wait specifically at like, 21 hours for a pelican to come over and land in a nest to drop the key for you to get it. Like there's a lot of these time specific puzzles. So you really have, and it, you don't have to do any of it. Like I said, you could just leave the game on. Uh, there's just a lot of adventures to do. There's a endless corridor. Um, it's eternity. And it's, you know, the, those games where like, this is an endless staircase, like Mario 64, for example, you can run up for an hour in Mario 64's endless staircase and then turn around and you're at the bottom of the stairs. In this game, the pathway of eternity, if you go an hour to the right, you have to go an hour to the left to get out of there. <laughs> like you, you don't just instantly get out, but there's stuff to find. There's decorations, there's carpets and shades and, uh, and, uh, you know, different things to get, which is cool. There's books. There's a lot of books you could find. The books have real world, uh, books like Moby Dick. You can read Moby Dick. There's like 40 something books. Uh, one of them is a book that never ends. It's literally like 30,000 pages of the same thing over and over and over. Uh, one of them is a book on moss carpet. And if you get that, you can actually make carpets out of moss if you have moss. Uh, and another one is that you started start with is called Thoughts. And what's cool about Thoughts is not only does it give you your inventory, but it gives you some stuff like, like, oh, I've never explored this area. Oh, I'd like to do this. I'd like to do this. And as you do things in the game, it starts crossing them off. So it's like, oh, I haven't explored this cave. And then it crosses off. I've explored a good chunk of this cave and it's crossed off. I've explored about half the cave, you know, et cetera. Until it's, I've explored everything. Uh, it's really cool that it gives you those kind of like, and they're, they're hidden. It's, if you don't click that book, you'll never see it. But it kind of gives you that a little mini objective. Like, can I cross off everything in this book? Uh, which is awesome because there's a lot of cool hidden things. And I think my biggest problem is, as awesome as these things are, there's just not enough. Like I got bored from doing everything. Like I literally did everything and some of the stuff was just waiting time for something else to happen. But I feel like they could have done more with this concept with it being 400 days. Like if it was like 200 days, maybe less, maybe it would work. But with 400 days, I feel like there should have been more to do, more to collect, more to see. Um, but that's just me. I, there's, a, there's still a ton to do, and I, I do recommend you try it. Uh, Greg, why don't you go on and continue with what you were saying? Yeah, I did go down that um, endless corridor for, like, I think a good 10, 15 minutes, and I found like, eight books and a bunch of paper, and that was kind of interesting that all that stuff was there. There was also that horse head thing. That was pretty cool to actually find that. Um, I don't know how much farther I could have went. I know there was a guy on YouTube that was going there for like hours, like going through there and never reached like an end. And I don't know how many books you can actually get from that endless corridor, but um, I think I got the ones you could get. Um, going to the library was pretty cool, but I really thought there'd be a lot more books there. So, I, Well, there so is like, actually, there's a hidden thing in the library where when you finally get to the library, um, you have to wait like it's like a hundred days or something and you go back and the ceiling actually collapses and there's more books that will be there. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, more weight and stuff. Um, I have like all this paper and every time I draw something, it just replaces the existing thing. So I don't know how I get 
more drawings and so I didn't really play around with that. Um, I only harvested one of the red crystals just to be able to say that I'd done it. Um, then I was I alluded to earlier, I harvested one of like the blue crystals like in the special area that seemed like it took forever to do as Harvest well. them all. Harvest them all and put them all in your room. Your time will go faster. Yeah, so I'm like down to like 330 some days before the king will wake up. So <laughs> I don't know how much longer I'll still play because I feel like it takes forever just to harvest things and to do all the time puzzles. And I don't know, it just <laughs> gets kind of boring as you were kind of saying because it's a lot of waiting and not really playing the game. That's kind of where I draw the line where it's kind of like a gotcha game because it's like, oh, you just open up the game, tap a couple times, and it's like reset everything for the next whatever eight hours or 12 hours or whatever the time segment is and resume. But this is like days. So it's like if you're not in your house, then it's real world time. So I don't know how long it takes to harvest the crystals or how many hours or days it is, but it certainly feels like it's a almost an eternity just to harvest those. And then you're not really making a ton of progress on the main timer when you're not in your house. Um, I still have to explore the top of the tower and go up that way, but I don't know. It's just hard to keep my attention when the game is kind of telling me to go do other things. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Like that's what I'm saying. Like there's so many, there's so many things you want to do, but a lot, not only does a lot of it take time, which is fine, but you start to run out of things. And like I said, there's there's different endings you can get. And I will say that after beating the the ending, it uh, it was kind of was a little anticlimactic. <laughs> I hate to say it, like I feel like there should have been more. But the cool thing is there is something. So the game the game is designed to be a one time thing. It's designed to be a one and done. However, when you beat the game, there is if you wait on the screen, it will literally tell you. Um, you can go back and change like back in time. And if you do that, um, it resets back before like you wake the king. Uh, so you can then continue to play. Because so when it hits uh when it hits zero 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 zero, the game doesn't just stop. You can continue playing and explore. That's good to know and I'm looking forward to if I decide to load up the game in like four hundred days. <laughs> just to see like, oh did I beat the game yet? Yeah, so that was kind of the main feelings I had towards it. It can be pretty fun if you're kind of into like slower paced games, is because a lot, like you were saying, it's definitely a lot of waiting. And um, obviously, if you're like in your house, like the, the time passes by much faster. But then it's also like if you want to explore, sometimes you might not be able to go in certain directions because you have to wait, whether it be a week or a day or a few hours. To, might not be willing to wait and if it's telling you to go play a different game you might actually not want to come back if you get more into the other game where you can, you're not stopped by those kind of constraints so yeah it is a uh, pretty definitely. solid game it's lots of fun stories and um i definitely appreciate getting like the picking up like those diaries of sadness or whatever they were <laughs> like when you like reach a dead end like i'm now disappointed times one <laughs> I don't know how many yeah, those are, but I have purpose for those. Okay, so yeah, I found at least five of them. I don't know how many there are, but it was that did find humor in that. Like, I just walked up all these stairs, got one thing of disappointment. Like, <laughs> there is a lot so. of good humor in the game. There's like you have a you have a fireplace in your house, so you can light coal and make a fire. And if you do that while the fire is burning, you actually like an extra, like I think five seconds comes off every second, which is cool, but you could also mine sulfur. So if you decide to make a fire out of sulfur, if anyone who's ever smelled a sulfur fire knows that it smells like ass, like it's just terrible. And that happens in the longing and your shade will literally go to the farthest point away from your house automatically. He will just, bye like like get up and leave which is hilarious and i love that they did things like that and yeah i haven't really played around too much in the, like the home to find the sulfur yet so because as i was saying like that maddock took me what felt like an eternity to find because i must have been going everywhere where it was not so there's actually four maddox believe it or not 
Yeah. I thankfully found um, all the music pieces. That was like the, one of the first things I did. And then I still haven't really found all the colors yet either. So I don't know where those are. I think I've only found like red and maybe like one other color. But you got to explore. Stuff is really well. Yeah, it's really well hidden, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely have to be paying yeah. attention when there's like a little notification, like, oh, pick up something. And normally it's a piece of coal, I'll add it to my brother. So it's <laughs> kind of cool, one of those cool humorous elements to it as well. So now what uh, you uh, what, what do you, would you recommend? Would you recommend this game to somebody who's who might be thinking about picking this up? Yeah, I mean, it definitely has a lot of adventure and story elements to it, and it's... I would definitely think it's worth the, the price tag, the fifteen dollars. Um, there's definitely a lot of game there, and you can easily get that much entertainment out of it if you're willing to sit through the different wait times for the different areas that you need to go through. It's definitely I'm gonna agree. You can go I back to if you're dedicated. I think this is an experience. I think that if you like different games slow moving games not you know high action uh especially if you have a family my wife was literally watching and like living vicariously like she named the shade and was like oh yeah let's go here let's go here and was kind of like taking part in it like every day but like what's he up to today what's he up to today so like i think i think as a family game it could be a lot of fun too just to explore but uh, I think as an experiment, it's cool. I'm glad it's on the Switch. I'm glad I was able to play it. So thank you to the developers for providing a code. And um, yeah, I think this is something, if this, if this whole thing sounds cool, if this sounds up your alley, I think you should give it a shot.